Hey guys, one claw here. I hope all of you are doing well of then having a really great day. In today's video, we want to focus on a new update for the BitAx open source Bitcoin miner. So let's get right into it. As you can see, I've currently opened the GitHub repository from the ESP miner from Scott, and we recently got a couple of changes and updates to it. As of in one of my last videos, I showed you how you can update your BitX miner so that you actually have a web UI. I will quickly switch over to it so that you can see what I'm talking about. So this is the current iteration of the XOS and it is a web UI that is running on your BitX open source Bitcoin miner to allow you to see how high is your hash rate and what's your best difficulty that you did so far, and what's your power consumption, a lot of information will be displayed on this here. And you also can change the pool that you want to connect to and you can also change what kind of Bitcoin address you want to use. There's one thing that we are missing and I will quickly switch over to the edit section. As you can see over here, we can set up our Wi-Fi and we can set up our stratum pool or the stratum URL and our username. But what we cannot do is actually configure the BitX from the web UI. And this is what has been changed on the current newest update. So I will walk you through the steps and how you can do this. You could either just update your GitHub repository, just pull the latest changes and use the UART bridge as in all of my latest videos about the BitX. But the creator of XOS, who is also the creator of public pool, and I really need to appreciate the public pool. If you don't know what this is, go over there. It's a solo Bitcoin pool where you will probably be charged with 0% fee unless you have more than 50 Terra hashes per miner. Then you will be charged 1.5% fee. Just a quick advertisement here for this pool because I, I really love this and it is dedicated to the open source Bitcoin mining project. So let's go back into our GitHub repository from the ESP miner. In here, you can just download the latest version of this GitHub repository and install this via a USB UART bridge or with the um, ESP proc board to your actual BitX device. But what we want to utilize is the functionality that's called OTA over the air updates. And we can do this on the web UI. And I want to show you how you can actually create the files that you need for this and how you can update them to or how you can upload them to this one and install the latest updates to your BitX. So now that we have sorted out everything that we need, we can finally move over to IR to our VS Code. So the first thing that you need to do is you have probably probably followed all the latest videos that I did about the BitX miner. And the thing that we need to do or install in the first place is a library. This library is called pip install windows dash curses. And this library is needed for the current iteration of this you know, BitX software or firmware, whatever you want to call this. So just install it. I will put down the command in the description so that you can get this. Otherwise, just type in pip install windows dash curses. After we have done this, um, you will probably have everything as in the latest video. Therefore, we need to do a couple of changes. Let me quickly check to the newest update. We need to change the directory that we're currently in. We need to change into main, into HTTP, uh, HTTP underline server. And in there, we need to go into XOS. What we want to do in here is we want to put in npm I. And after we have done this, we can run npm run build. This will now create a new HTTPS server or will actually try to build everything that is needed. Now we can go back with cd dot dot into the ESP miner folder. And in here, what we can do is, and it's important, uh, you need to type in idf.py and then clean to clean all the binary, binary files that are currently in your build directory. We don't want to use them. What we want to use is a fresh and nice firmware. So now that everything has been cleaned, we can put in idf.py build. This will now start the building process. I get all the code that it needs and create two binary files. The first binary file for the actual firmware 
and the second binary file for the actual web server. This will take a couple of seconds. Until we are done with this, I would highly suggest you guys to like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on further updates related to topics, especially of this open source Bitcoin miner project. So stay tuned, there will probably be more. And I also have something to announce. In the near future, I will do a live stream of setting up and onboarding a freshly new device from a company that is selling the BitX devices. But more on this in the future. Just subscribe so that you stay tuned about this. So now VS Code is telling us everything has been done and built completely so we can start the process. So you want to go to the XOS and you want to select update firmware and select the file. In your ESP minor folder, go into the build folder and in here select the ESP minor binary and open it. This will take a couple of seconds to process so it will upload the latest firmware to your BitX device and after this it will automatically reboot and you should be good to go. And now we want to have the new website and therefore we also uh, select a file and we select the www.bin file. We open this and now it is working and after a couple of seconds it should be successfully be installed on the BitX device. Just let us bear here a couple of seconds and wait for it to update successfully. And there we go. There is a nice new feature that we can see. We have a couple new settings, but I want to go over this in detail. Let's start with the new overview that we have. We will have a new overview of our frequency and core voltages and measured core voltages and stuff like this. And we will see everything that we need to see on the main overview page. The real time logs are also functional and working and everything seems to be quite nice. I really love this current update. But I, what I want to highly suggest to you guys is that you can see I'm currently hashing at around 226 giga hashes because my frequency is set to 380 megahertz. And we can quickly change this. Just let's go over to settings and change the frequency to 400. Just ramp it up a little bit. Click on save. Go back to XOS and it has been automatically updated the frequency. It should ramp up in the hash rate. If it does not after a couple of minutes, just restart the device. But yeah, that's it. And that's how simple it is to use the OTA functionality of the BitX and how to install the latest firmware updates. Basically, I could stop videos now doing about a bit X because every further update will be the same. You just need to build it and then you can install it. But I will always keep you posted guys. So like and subscribe so you don't miss out on further videos. Thank you guys for watching and see you on the next one.